Well, I don't know if it's the sugar buzz, the freaking beer buzz, beer, or the weed buzz, or maybe it's the nicotine buzz, and I ain't trying to monetize any of these videos. Because I don't give a fuck. I just don't give a fuck. We're gonna we're gonna take some champagne today. We're gonna drink champagne. We're gonna we're gonna sniff champagne and drink uh, some fine Colorado microbrew, New Belgium. Yeah, I'll plug them because I I think y'all are missing out, and you need to go down to your local LQ and ask them to get some New Belgium. It's as simple as that. May Oregon may have the most. Washington, I'm sorry, excuse me. Washington might have the most microbrews, breweries, breweries, brewery, 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 brewery. Washington may have the more breweries, most breweries. Colorado has the best breweries, and they will fuck you up. And so will this. Toke snuff, if you will. Let's have some fun and uh, smell some good smells. We'll fluff our snuff. We'll fluff it ever so slightly. Uh, decap it. Now, I really like Toke's canisters because uh, they are screw top. You can see the threads in there. And they have this nice little gasket uh, around the edge. And well, no, no, it's perforation, not a gasket. It's a, it's a, it's a pad that causes pretty good air tightness when you screw it down on. So let's take some champagne and put it in my nose. I smell fermented grapes, but not the sour, nasty first day fermentation. I'm talking the uh, week in. Uh, Little bit of yeast, little tiny bit of yeast hit. It almost smells like artificial yeast. Uh, let me pinch in a little bit more and let this little bit warm up as I uh... <sighs> very pleasant, sweet, but not. See, I've had a cup. I've had two sweet snuffs, and I don't think I've done a review on the one. I'll probably do that next, but. Uh... I've had sweet snuffs, and they're called sweet snuffs, and I, I believe they have powdered sugar on them, because if you taste them, they're uh, sugary and sweet, and I doubt I, that would happen out of this champagne from Toke, but it's been warming up, and I, I, let's, uh, <sighs> it does smell reminiscent of uh champagne good champagne not not anything that you could buy for 10 bucks because that stuff sort of tastes like really cheap yeast this has a uh, that sour note just that hit of sour it's really hard to identify until you've put a little bit up there but it, it does have that sour fermented note and uh I don't think it's for everyone, but not as much as it's not for everyone as the peanut butter is not for everyone, or the cheese and bacon is not for everyone. I love them both. In fact, I I would daily insufflate both. In fact, the cheese and bacon, I'm like, after I get done with this in the next video, I'm going on, I'm ordering a big ass 50 gram bag of cheese and bacon if I can. I gotta get me some of that cheese and bacon. I was so sad when I ran into that cheese and bacon. It was I was like pinching into the Wilson's to Cheryl that I didn't like and I was like, I don't want this. And I was smoking more cigarettes and then, I was, and then my package got intercepted by freaking customs and it took forever and it was just a nightmare. But here I am and I've got my champagne. And I never screamed. I didn't send no SJW letter to Mr. Roderick over at tokestuff.com I just asked a couple questions was very polite 
and uh, didn't hound them, gave them ample time to explain themselves. And they all, oh man, Toke. The team at Toke is so nice. Tokesnuff.com. Go check them out. They are fantastic people. They want to get you your product at a decent price. Now, when I purchased Snuff from Mr. Snuff Online, I paid upwards of $16. $16 for Royal Mail. Now, granted, it took me a month to get this package, but for 35 grams of uh, Snuff, I only paid $6 in shipping and handling from Tokesnuff.com. So, Toke, if you live in the U.S., it is a very inexpensive way. One of these tins will last well over a week if you snort the shit out of it. Just like... <laughs> just get at it. Like, a week. A week. I'm not even kidding. But, uh... Tokesnuff.com. Go check them out. They got everything they got on there. It's fantastic. I'm going to even get me some of that absinthe flavor if I can find it. I'm going to go on and, and online and check out the store again and do another uh, little story. I just did a real quick one. I only had a few bucks. I had like 30 bucks to spend. But uh, uh, in the future, Snuff Anybody McFeagle, we may be doing a little collaboration, do a shoot some stuff back and forth. We don't know. He hit me up. I posted a comment on one of his videos, said, hey, yeah, I like uh, your content. And he said, chugga, 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 you're really freaking doing good, and I want to do some videos with you. And he said, and I said, we said, cool. And he's got a great, he's got a, he, he, he's, a he's a day, and he lives out in Denmark, and he's he's got, uh, you know, his own channel, and you should go check him out, Snuff Anybody McFeagle, but this is uh, previously known as Ryan Dips 4K, but ASAP will be known as Smokeless Ryan 4K. Coming at you from my house with flowers on the wall, hidden by the lamp, that I'll move later so I don't break nothing or kill my cat. See ya.